Now we can move on to the scariest game of all time, Diablo 3's. Diablo 3? We talking about Diablo 3. Start adding S to the end of every game. <laughs> Diablo 3's. Reaper of Reapers Souls. of Souls. Reapers of Souls, yeah. <laughs> Just start pluralizing everything. Um, we should see if... Uh, thanks uh, for watching, everybody. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks thanks for being a bunch of jerks in the chat. A bunch of mean jerks. Yeah, I bet there was a lot of... Listen, I bet there was a lot of people who came in here specifically because they still want to watch PT streams is probably what was happening. Right. Uh, and that means that uh, that you can follow us. You can follow Kyle at 19 Letters Long on Twitter. You can follow me at Something Dumb on Twitter. You can check out our Let's Plays at YouTube.com slash RunButton or RunButton.net. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're specifically interested in Silent Hill, we have done a Let's Play of the first three Silent Hill games. They're all blind Let's Plays. We had never played them before. No. But I think, I think the people I'm thinking of were probably not new people because they were calling me by name. Okay. I wasn't looking at the chat so much. Uh, the game is super loud for me, and then also I can't see the stream. I mean, I just can't see the screen share. That's really unfortunate for you. Like, I can see the X-Split, but I can't see the game in X-Split. It's fine on the stream, though. It looks great. Can you see it now? Uh, I saw it, and then it blinked away again. All right. Well, what are you gonna do? I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not gonna get to watch uh, Diablo three. Right. Um, I yeah. Someone said quiet, I was no. gonna say something about the game. I can't. I was gonna say something about the game, but I can't. I will totally lost my train of thought. So if anybody knows what I was saying, then I could probably be able to pick that up. Is it quieter now for you? Yes, it's great. Thank you. Um, we should, uh, we should look into getting, uh, Austin to do, uh, minicast now. I'm super tired. I might be too tired. But also, I'll, I'll look into it, yeah. You're not too tired. I'm wicked tired. I'm so tired. Me too. I woke up at, like, three in the morning. Why? Because I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule. That's not how you... <laughs> do you not know what time people well, normally wake up? Well, hold on. I had been waking up at, like, 3 in the afternoon. So I'm getting I'm getting there. Um, uh, oh, yes. Uh, so I just said I was saying something about, about uh, Lisa. Uh, was that when you were seeing her in the hall, if you hadn't picked up all the pieces, she would spirit. have, like, dashed at you and then strangled you to death. Okay. Like done a super quick ghost dash at you, but because we got all the picture pieces, I think that that, that like kept her from coming at you. Huh. All right. Yeah. So that's what that's about. Um. Break beneath the endless tide. Would you mind sending a quick Skype chat to Austin? Yeah, sure. Um. I don't have enough spirits. Kyle, what's your character's class again? I can never remember. Uh, this one is a monk. Okay. Why? So, like, you punch stuff. Yeah. And I have a bell. I have a giant bell. A bell or a belt? Bell. Like, what? Why do you have a bell? Watch. I don't know. It's a monk thing. Wait, drop, drop the bell. I need spirit. Your strength failed. I don't see a bell. Oh wait, I'm I'm watching the yeah. yeah you're way behind. Yeah. I don't see a fucking I don't see a fucking bell. L L Cool J is hard as hell. Battle anybody, I don't care who you, you tell. I don't have enough spirit. Something, something, monk with a bell, etc., etc., etc. Drop the bell. I really, uh, I really dropped the commitment to that one halfway through. <laughs> Ooh. 
I saw a monster move out of the corner of my screen, and I forgot that I wasn't playing Silent Hills anymore, so I didn't have to care about things moving on my screen at all. Oh yeah, this game doesn't have to be spooky. You're not playing a spooky game. Feel the wrath of Yitan! My path becomes clearer. I really like the console version of Diablo 3, you guys. It looks like a better version. I'm just done with Diablo 3 in general as like a whole thing. I hear you, but I felt I like that. I played so many hours of it when it first came out. I felt like that, but I just rented, like when it first came out on like 360, I rented it from a red box just because I was like, I don't know, fuck it, it's a thing to do, and I really liked it, so I went out and bought it. And then I bought it again. Yeah, on PS4. You keep buying this game. Yeah. Is this is this now one of the games that you own the most copies of? Well, because I know that you have a lot of duplicates of a lot of different games, well, but three is I still up there. I don't know that I have a lot of. Oh, you just mean like different versions, not like literal like extra copies. You, I mean, you have that too. Final Fantasy VII is probably up there for like game that I own the most versions of, but then again, it wasn't. It hasn't been released on the most versions of things. I have like a lot of copies of Terraria, maybe just three. I don't know. Three seems to be like a good maximum. Like once you have three, for whatever reason, I have three copies of Super Street Fighter II Turbo. Oh, you know what I have? Sonic Three. That is easily the game I have the most versions of. Yeah. Oh, you've got a ton. Because you have all those Sonic collections, yeah. you have a ton of versions of all those yeah, games. Yeah, I've got... Let's Break see, I have Sonic 3. Just, I have a, a Sonic 3 cartridge for Genesis. And then I've got... Uh, I had the Mega Collection on... Uncovered and obscured an ancient totally Mega Collection on GameCube. Then I had the Mega Collection Plus on PS2. The secret history of then I have it on the 360, God, like, uh, just on Arcade. And then I have it on the Collection the on 360. If this is true... How could all then, signs of know. these Nephilim probably, be lost? Probably in one but or two other record, places also. This single tone. Oh, so when I say I for some oh, I, reason I had three copies PC. of Super Street Fighter 2, it's because why would I have that? I don't play Street Fighter. Yeah, you don't play Street Fighter. What are you talking about? Yeah, so I have three copies of that game. Of, and I don't, of, I, of Street Fighter 4? Street Fighter 2. You have three copies of Street Fighter 2? Yeah, I just found three copies of it one day, and I was like, I guess I have three copies of this. What? I don't even need one. I don't even need one copy Three of this. different copies? Like three different three versions? Three different copies. No, three different copies. You mean... You're saying three copies of the same version of Street Fighter 2? Yes. So I have three Never different copies God. of but Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo... For the Sega Genesis. Life, magic, and abilities far beyond what? ours. I do not know. Yeah, it's 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 it, it, it. There's no reason for it. That's really strange. Yeah. You don't think it was like because that game was so popular, so many people had that. Like, it's mm -hmm. it's probably just someone else had a bunch of copies of it and they left it at your house or something. Maybe. I do know that they're not for resale. Oh, really? Yeah, they're not... <laughs> I'm okay. not allowed to resell those. So, those might be a bun... They usually say that when the game came bundled in with the system. Um, I actually, I think only one of them says not for resale. How come I can't get in here? This is some bullshit. Oh, okay. Did you message Austin? Yeah. What do you say? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, wait, I didn't hit send. <laughs> oh He's just sitting there. Look at all this shit. Ooh. 
Sweet. That one does get me more experience. Are you on what, what diff, are you on nightmare difficulty? Are you on so what's the one after nightmare? No, I'm just on normal right now. Uh, I I played through the. Are you a wimp? I played through the game once on the 360 version with this character, and then this is the Reaper of Souls expansion version. So I bought that on PS4, exported my character out, and then uh, imported onto the PS4, and now I'm playing through the expansion. Yeah, How I mean, is it's the expansion. Uh, it's Diablo 3. So. Is the story in Diablo 3 anything at all? I don't remember it even kind of. All I remember is that there's there's angels, and then there's like a half angel, half demon, there's th and then you the angels are, are the, shitheads. You are the half angel, half demon. Okay, yeah. You are a Nephilim. Nephilim, yeah. Great. Yeah, there's a story. Yeah. I, mean, it's, I have the hard not time a, skipping, Not a lot of people have, like that story. I enjoyed the story, like, the first time through, like, it engaged me, uh, up until uh, some stuff near the end. Strike. I just don't remember any of it, and I have a hard time separating it from Darksiders. Okay, well, that's insane. Why? Aren't there also Nephilim and Darksiders? Uh, maybe. It's all about angels and demons. You're right about that. Yeah, there's fucking Nephilim and Darksiders. You're a Nephilim in a DMC Devil May Cry. Oh yeah, you are a Nephilim in Darksiders. See, I would What? No, you're yeah. a Rider of the Apocalypse. This cannot be opened yet. Yeah, all of them are Nephilims. Oh yeah? Yeah. I don't remember them talking about that. Yeah, it says notable Nephilim characters, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, oh, okay. and then others, Absalom. Doesn't say Absalom. Dante, come on. Absalom is uh, the both, both the first Nephilim and then also the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. I guess technically Dante is probably a Nephilim in all the Death of My Cries. Wait, say that again? I said that Dante was a Nephilim in the Devil May Cry reboot, and then I was like, mm -hmm. come to think of it, he was probably one in the original also. Didn't, were they, you might not have, they might not have actually something? used that term. Uh, yeah, I, I, I played the original uh, for the first okay. time, and I tried to play two, but it's so bad that I just skipped it and went to three, and three is really super hard, so I didn't really get very far. But, uh, but I sure liked that reboot a whole lot. That's good. I'm glad. It was, you said that it was, like, very campy or something? You said it was very campy? Was it uh, campy? No. It's hard it to. Just, it was just unfunny in a funny way. There was something about it where I remember a lot of people were not into the jokes. Yeah, I think it was it was one of those things where the jokes and stuff were... Yeah, I guess, I guess campy is kind of is a good word for it. They're very silly and kind of like mm. over Outdoorsy. the top. Outdoorsy. And some people were just like... Some people's reaction not to it was spitting. like, man, the writing in this is so terrible. And other people's, including mine most of the time, was more like, oh, like the, the writers of this knew that they were making a, a, a silly thing. Okay. I haven't played any of those. Do you like those kinds of like character action type games? I don't like God of War at all. Okay. But I do like Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> well then, maybe you should be playing Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn. Hey, by the way, now that we're not playing PT anymore, half the number of viewers. Well, yeah. I, I don't think it's I don't I, guess, I don't I think I guess it's a there combination. Is, I guess there is some of that PT magic. Yeah, PT yeah. Hey, did you magic. see did you see the fucking difference in the numbers uh on our on our Silent Hill one let's play from the day before PT came out and the day after it came out? Oh. It jumped like eight hundred percent or something. Really? Or That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah I, uh, Silent Hill two jumped into like seven hundred percent. I, I'm cutting too much. Because okay. we were getting all those comments. I was like, why are we getting so many shitty comments yes, on Silent Hill videos? I was just videos? saying that. Like, and then, I, and then I, I tweeted about it, and someone was like, 
it's probably because of PT. And, yeah, and then I yeah. looked up the day that PT came out, and I looked up the day, and and then I looked up the day uh, that makes so much where sense, we started yeah. getting a lot of more view, a lot more views on those videos. The thing I was it, it lined up perfectly. The thing I was gonna say was the the kinds of comments that I've been noticing on our videos in the past couple weeks were are like the kind of like just random like shitty and mean for no reason kind of comments that I was really afraid of when we first started doing videos that like never yeah. really came mm -hmm. uh, and my 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 first reaction here was they like, are fucker my first reaction was like man good thing those guys didn't show up when we started or I might have even just stopped doing this or I don't know what I would have done mm -hmm. uh, my other reaction was like man maybe now we're actually getting popular Maybe that's what this means, is that, yeah. is that yeah. people I think, being I think a bunch of fucking assholes means you're popular now. Well, apparently there's, I think, only one other Silent Hill Let's Play in the, the LP archive. Oh, in the LP archive? Yeah, because yeah. I saw that, that fucking... That, that person that said they couldn't find... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That person was who was like, I'm going to... Who commented saying, like, I, as soon as I find another Silent Hill Let's Play, I'm, sw I'm stopping watching this. Yeah, and my reaction and, like, was like, Silent there's Hill like a million everywhere. Silent Hill Let's Plays. Yeah, there... Yeah, the... There is a... There is not a drought of Silent Hill content on the internet. Yeah. I mean, wait, no. Yes, there is. It's only us. Only it's only us. You can't videos. watch anything else. Um, some of the some of the comments were were nice, but some of, a lot of them were not nice. Yeah. Gems. Huh. Yeah. I don't see. I was gonna try to find that find the find the ones that I could read it verbatim, but I can't find it. Oh well. Um, Puppy Meat asks, is there a way to know what you're doing in Terraria without consulting an outside guide? Because I refuse to do that. That's what turned me off Minecraft. Uh, uh, and then, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Iggy's Moyle says, not really, that's Terraria's biggest flaw. I well, say the Terraria's biggest flaw is that all of the movement and controls feel terrible. Well, it depends on what you mean by, like, if you mean, do I need to go elsewhere to learn the recipes for crafting things? The answer is no. That's the best thing about Terraria over Minecraft, or at least one of them, is that no, you don't need to memorize recipes. It's all built into the game. Like I think uh, I, I forget if it's one of those things where you need to have all the components for it to show you, like, hey, you can, like it'll just pop up a list. Like here's the stuff that you can build, basically, and it, like as long as you have the right stuff, you can build it. Like you don't. There's no recipes in the game. There's just amounts of materials that make things. Okay. Wait. So there's no there's no like combining wood and no there, sand to make wood sand. There is. But what I'm saying is there's no, like, you need three sticks along the top row of the grid, and then on okay, the bottom it's, you Okay, it's this. not a configuration. Right. There's, there's no configuration. Exactly. Okay. There's no placement. It's just, hey, you have the right things to make this other thing, so it's made That's now. the worst part about Minecraft. Yeah. Is being like, which one was the pickaxe, and which one was the regular axe? I think they took that out of the console Dang, versions, fails. which is one of the the reasons that I like the console version a little bit more than the PC version. Probably means this finished the way way back. It was really good. Yeah, the way way back is a fucking great movie. Uh, uh, probably watched it. I think I was talking a bunch about the way way back a couple weeks ago when I rewatched it. Um, and a couple people watched it. Everybody that that told me they were going to watch it all came back and said it was good. So if you haven't seen the movie, you should check it out for real. The movie's great. Have you seen it, Kyle? Uh, no. You should check it out. It's great. It's a great movie. 
not a huge, uh, not a huge box office success. So I like to talk about it when I can, because you, you like to give cool. it that run button bump. I like to give it that that RB uh, that RBB. Um, Did Austin reply to you? Uh, no. Um, I think it was like I think it it, it cost like five million to make and it made like twenty million, which is I mean a big it's a profit comparatively, but it, but you know that's still. I feel like that movie. I feel like that was a forty million dollar movie if it was a dollar movie. Sorry, I'm gonna disappear for a couple seconds. Okay. Um, probably means there's a lot of good act, good actors in it. Yeah, the 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 kid that plays um, the kid that plays the kid. What is his name? James something. James Dunn maybe? No, that's that can't be right. James something. It was phenomenal. He's a phenomenal actor. And then Sam Rockwell is also great. And then obviously Steve Carell. Um, and then, uh, you know, all of them, all the actors were good. I mean, stand here, look at that idle animation. That'll be fun for a minute. As of Grace has never played a Dynasty Warrior game, but Hyrule Warriors looks like a lot of fun. Hyrule Warriors looks like a ton of fun, yeah. which is great because uh, I like Dynasty Warriors, and the only thing that can be improved on Dynasty Warriors, like if they're going to take out the like historical context for all that stuff, I, they're, I'm glad that they're replacing it with a way better aesthetic yeah. and and like a kind of fantasy. Well, I think uh, they already did that with the Gundam game. Okay. I think the Gundam yeah. game is a better aesthetic than the, the weird anime Chinese not past history. Yeah. Um, I, uh, on, on PlayStation Did you know that now, there's a whole offset of Dynasty Warriors games that are that, are that take place in Japan and yeah. they're Samurai Warriors? Yep. And then there's there's crossover games there's, between uh, Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors? There's like Warriors Orochi. Yeah. Which I don't remember what that is. And there was like tactics warriors or warriors tactics or something which was like a turn-based strategy or something that sounds maybe interesting maybe because that's all that all the dynasty warriors games are is pretending that actual strategy was just one dude going around murdering an entire <laughs> battlefield <laughs> uh, i um i recently on via the PlayStation Now PS3 streaming service on PS4. I, uh, mm-hmm. I paid for a week of Dynasty Warriors 7. Oh, yeah? I played it for like a minute, and I was like, I can't get into this. There's just something about the aesthetic of the core Dynasty Warriors games that I just have no interest in. Um, I just bought Dynasty Warriors 8. Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition. Um, Stay here, Laura. I don't know why I bought it. I played it, and I, I had a lot of fun with it. To kill her, aren't you? Uh, and it, I think that eight is better than seven. Um, but I haven't really. How do you played know all this about Dynasty Warriors games? I used to play a ton of Dynasty Warriors. I thought the whole deal was that when we went to play Dynasty Warriors Gundam that one time, you were all like, "Dynasty Warriors is dumb. Why are we doing this? It is dumb." Well, yeah, it is dumb. Um, but no, I I was I was really into Dynasty Warriors for a, for a long time, years before that. Um, and then I kind of I got uh, I didn't get burned by it, but I guess I just like for a long time stopped acknowledging that I liked it, and because I stopped buying the games, and then forgot how much fun they were. And then I went back and I played some of them, and I was like, oh, this is great. And then I bought uh, bought Dynasty Warriors eight. Extreme Legends Complete Edition on uh, Steam. Liam James, thank you, Puppy Meat. Liam James was the main character in Way Way Back, or the main actor. The actor that plays the main character. You don't have to talk about. Maya Rudolph was in there. She's great. Everyone likes Maya Rudolph. I know the name. I don't know the person. Uh, SNL, Bridesmaids. Oh, uh, 
I don't think I like Maya Rudolph. Well, you're wrong. She's great. Okay. These little scorpion things come at you are like a joke. It's like a right. joke that they would even attack you. Yeah, maybe. You know what I need to do? I need to bump it up to expert. You gotta bump it up to expert. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a nice thing that the... I think this is now finally in the PC version, but a good thing about the console versions of this, of this game was that they added a second layer of difficulty selection over it. Like... Because there was the regular and the nightmare and hell and inferno modes in the original. But, like, you had to play through the whole game on normal, which was way too easy to get to the next level. But this one just has, like, a make the enemies harder. The enemies will be harder, but you get more golden experience. Oh, that's good. So, so... Because the actual difficulty changes doesn't just make them harder. It, like, affects other things, too, yeah, right? it affects, like, how many, like, elite enemies show up and that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I've been talking a lot about Halo recently, and it's gotten me really excited to buy an Xbox One. I'm, I am really excited to play Halo 2 on yeah, me too. I have I actively talked stream friend Art Tebel into buying. He was going. He went to Best Buy to buy a PS4. Was trying it out. Came home. Wasn't sure. And then went back to the store after a conversation with me on stream and bought an Xbox One. That's funny. Why? Just because uh, because I talked. I like. I guess I accidentally convinced him to get an Xbox One instead. That's funny. But like, I was. Why? I, I basically said, "Listen, you you don't care about any of the PlayStation Four uh, first party properties, and Halo is going to be fun, yeah. and Destiny is going to be dumb, and you can play yeah. everything else on your PC." Yeah, it's true. Yeah. The the only the real thing I would put in Halo and PS4's Ray corner is that it is the dominant time. platform, and history has borne out that the dominant platform is the one to have. Yeah, yeah. The I think the 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 two things that eventually convinced him, uh, which I think are two very strong arguments, is that one, uh, when you want a PS4, just get a PS. No one's stopping you from getting a PS4. Yeah, exactly. In a couple of years, if you want one. Yeah. Uh, and then my other argument was. Uh, um, uh, just how 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 passionate I was talking about hey, playing Halo Two, oh, or uh, and and how like because I'm I don't get like really excited about a lot of video games, but I still get really excited about Halo Two. Yep. So, but right now, right now on my list, Xbox One, Wii U. Those are my. That's what I'm getting. Wii U, you said? Yeah, I'm gonna get a Wii U. Yeah. There was like a... I don't know if it was Kotaku or... Some, I need it was one of those goddamn sites. They had IGN? A, Is it IGN? No, I don't think it's IGN, but... They had a story... Was today. it Joystick? I want to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> there was a story today they had where it's like, it's officially a good idea to buy a Wii U now. And I was like, I feel like we reached that point like a little while ago. Yeah, yeah, a couple months ago, probably. Yeah. But like that's an article that that should have come out after after E3. Yeah. It was something like, you know, no, it's not a joke. You should get a Wii U. I'm like, yeah, get a Wii U. The Wii U is yeah, pretty get a cool. Wii U. What are you doing? Yeah, I've been I've been saying since around E3. If not, I I would like to believe before E3, but it was probably during and after E3. Um like that it sound like that. Yeah. Well, I, Let me, I would never have known it, but I, I honestly thought that the Wii U was probably the best buy. Yeah. Like, uh, for now. I, I'll put it this way. Especially if you're counting out, uh, like, indie games that are already on PC or older games that are just being re-released and, and all, that, all that stuff. Like, if you really just look at, like, what are the things you can only play on PS4 and only play on Xbox One... The Wii U has them all beat easily. Easily, yeah. Yeah. Without a bar. Bar none. Bar none. Bar none. And then also, you can play Earthbound on that. You know, if you want to. Sure. 
I never played Earthbound. People really like it. Yeah. People really like Earthbound out of nowhere in the last year. Oh, it wasn't out of nowhere, dude. People have been screaming for Earthbound to be on Virtual Console for years. I would never heard anything about Earthbound until the last year or so. I mean, it, now, had you literally not heard of the game? No, I've heard of the game. Oh, yeah, because like, it was who's, Smash Bros. Where's Ness stuff? from? Yeah. Oh, something called Earthbound or yeah. something? I don't know. Right. Like, yeah, that's I, the context I hadn't that heard, I heard of Earthbound. Earthbound. I heard of Earthbound because of Ness being in the original Smash Brothers. Yeah. Which is silly. Hello? Hello? Yeah, what's up? I lost all. Hold on, I'm lo I lo I'm losing audio. No, you didn't. I was just joking. There we go. Okay, found it. What? Got it. Did you actually lose audio? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, because you went hello, hello, and I intentionally said nothing just to mess with you. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. For whatever reason, my headphone jack wasn't working. Plugged directly into my speakers, so I plugged it into my mixer. Behind the scenes. Tech talk. The gods strike through me. Who do the gods strike through? Me. Uh, I'll say this about a uh, Diablo expansion. The new class, Crusader, I've only played it for a, a tiny bit, but it seems really cool. What is what is the Crusader's jam? Uh, he's a big bulky guy, um, and he has a shield, and like he incorporates the shield into his attacks. Like he just like will punch people with his shield, do some pretty serious shield bashing. So this sounds sounds like a fighter type. Yeah. Uh, his default weapon is a uh, like a a mace Your on a chain, like fails. a chain mace. I don't know what to call it. Um. Ah, shit. I used to know what those are called. Yeah, can't remember. I know it's not a Morning Star because a Morning Star is like the ball with the spikes that's just at the end of the handle. But it's like that with a chain in the middle. Uh, okay. Yeah, I haven't been keeping my martial weaponry. It's it's really hard to keep up with it, you know. It changes so fast. Yeah, it's such a it's a constantly shifting uh, field. Yeah, always being innovated upon. I don't know why that made me think of you always saying you were changing the StarCraft meta. Um, but do you know that StarCraft? Is I make a, my own meta. You know that StarCraft is a brand of boat. Really? Like, for years and years, there have just been, uh, like, boats called StarCraft. It's just the brand name. Uh, and every once in a while when I see one, I'm like, that's so weird and silly. And I was behind some guy who was pulling a StarCraft boat, and I just wanted to, like... I had my phone up on the dashboard mount, and I wanted to just take a picture of it and, and tweet it at you and just be like, this guy's really changing the meta. <laughs> Now StarCraft is just literally fishing. Yeah. <laughs> um, Guys, you want to change the meta. Don't go three racks into Vulcan. This fight is just... over. Wait, Vulcan? That's not a unit. No. Thinking of Vulture? Yeah, Vulture. I mean, that's good for this. Don't good. go, it's don't a, go it's three racks skirt. into Vulture. Just go fishing. <laughs> Yeah, just go fishing. Just walk away from a, your computer. Go fishing. Catch a wide mouth bass. Spitted. Or a regular bass. And, yeah, and be honest with yourself. If it's not big enough, throw it back. Overfishing is a huge problem. And let's be honest. Even if it is big enough, you, you don't know how to clean longer. that fish. You don't know how to clean. Yeah, you're not going to fucking clean. Stop you're just going to, like... Best case scenario, you take it to your god. You take it to a, a, a to a butcher. Take it to your local butchery. Have them do it for you. And then what have you gained? Nothing. You've gained nothing. You take that cowboy hat off. You look like an idiot. 
<laughs> you fucking idiot. You live in you live in suburban Massachusetts. Take off the cowboy hat. Lose the Kenny Chesney vibe. Uncle Kurt. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to my Uncle Kurt. Uncle Kurt, you're fucking you're a 40 you're a 45 year old suburbanite. How do I keep looping back here? What's going on? It's PT. PT's getting it in your really games. Is. Look at it. Watch. I'll go down here. And oh wait. Okay, I guess not. Never mind. It just looked exactly the same. Okay. Let's see where you've been hiding, Malfiel. Adria. The angels will never suffer us to live. They cannot accept the fact that we may choose our own path. At least demons are not. You're an so upper class suburbanite. Stop beliefs. pretending like you're from the country. I care about this for some reason. Shut up. I waited until she was not talking. No, you didn't. I did. You waited for it on the stream, I think, which was not the same as for me. Oh, no, I can hear. I'm hearing the volume from you. Whatever. I have chosen my path. I should probably just bump this down. You will die. Oh, is that Kerrigan? Yep, that's Kerrigan. Oh, man, she's got health. Health for days. Yeah. Wait, is her name just the the witch? Oh, Adria. Adria. The power in my blood sings to me. What's her motivation? Uh, I don't even remember. But she was like a villain in the original, where uh, she did she betrayed them. Like, you thought that she was a good person the whole time. And then she you thought she was a good person, a good guy. She's got she was a good spider guy. claw wings. Well, no, this this form has never been seen before. This is a new thing. Okay. Uh, but you thought she was a good guy the whole time, and she betrayed you at the very end, the and she got away. You didn't even get any kind of revenge on her. Which is your revenge, I guess. Well, you're not the same character, are you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I thought this was a new character. I mean, like, I'm not the same character as the first time I played through Diablo 3. No, I'm saying you're not the same. This is not the same Nephilim that was the star of Diablo's 1 and the sequel. No, uh, but it was. This is just the expansion of Diablo 3. So your character that you're in doing this expansion with would have already played through the rest of Diablo 3. So, uh, oh, you're saying Adria was a villain in Diablo 3? Yes. Okay, I thought you were saying, when you said the first one, I thought you meant the first Diablo, no, not I, the original sorry, game. Sorry, I meant the first Diablo 3. Right. That's where the confusion was. I found it. We dug it the, up. The only, the one thing, though, is that uh, the only returning character class from Diablo 2 II into 3 was the Barbarian. And the Barbarian, when you play as him, he has gray hair, like he's older, and I mm -hmm. swear it's the same voice actor, like I think implying the that it's the same Barbarian from Bar uh, Diablo 2. Oh, that's fun. How does the mana in this work? Is that mana? Is that what that Diablo cloudy thing is? No, that is spirit. Each class has its own special, uh, you know, special power juice. Never. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, they he all work even like. But well, how does this one My work? Master I it just return. recovers over time, and also and I think I get more when I make critical hits and when I just hit with regular attack. Okay, I can't remember how the because I was a I was a demon Fire hunter. Demon hunter. I don't rem even remember how it works for demon hunters. In my head, it builds up. It starts at nothing and builds up as you attack oh, regular. No, the demon hunter was weird. The demon hunter has two. It's like a split thing, remember? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I do remember that. It's been so long. Kyle, it's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. You should get back to it. You should nah. buy a PlayStation 4. 
play Diablo 3 with no. me. No. Well, I've got to buy an Xbox One. Are me too. Are you really so angry because of Leah? <laughs> get, get back to that hot Halo what 2 Let's Play. Ways. This is a long boss fight. Yeah, this is getting really, tedious. It really is. It's a little. This is getting. Frankly, this is getting a little silly. Come on, come on. Yeah. Maybe what they were going for is, uh, like I mentioned, she's kind of she's a bad person who's done you wrong. Maybe you're supposed to be like, yeah, you're finally getting back at her. So this whole time you're supposed to be like, yeah, finally get to get to get to, get to beat this person that was so evil before. Ah, maybe. I feel like that. I feel like that. I feel like that sensation is not I mean, spit it. like a 10 minute long thing. You know, I think they just wanted to feel like every fucking punch. punch is so good. Yeah, remember that that one fight with the butcher at the end of Act One where it was like he had uh, like I think different sections of the arena would light on fire and stuff? That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, I do. Are you really so angry? Because of Leah. <laughs> what a waste. Was there a second part to that? Or you just wanted to know no, if I, I remember? Like that was a lot more. That was a much more interesting boss fight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think he even had a chain that he like shot at people and dragged them over into the fire and stuff. Kyle, did you see the end Not of um, the Oregon Trail? runoff that we did i did yeah i didn't i didn't edit that that's just how it came yeah <laughs> it's because i stopped recording the video yeah and, and then the audio well, kept going yeah but then like the timing on that was also perfect still what did you edit that in uh i had to edit it in sony vegas did you just because say vegas it's, pr I think, I don't know, I don't think that it's Vegas. It is Vegas. Which is how I would say the city. It is Vegas. It is? I thought I it was a different, I, no, I, didn't, I didn't think that they were invoking the city. They were. They okay. Uh, so it was, because I, I was running it in a a AVI, AVI and, and it kept on crashing, and it was crashing over and over again, and I was trying different things, and I tried different scripts that I know work, and it was crashing, and I was like, I'll fix this later and figure out what's going on, and then, then I was like, I'll just do it in Vegas. Okay. Yeah. The reason I give you so much grief about that is because uh, Jeff Gersman actually pronounces the city as Las Vegas, and it drives me fucking insane. A lot of people say Vegas. No, they don't. They, they, they can't. I've never heard it. I don't have enough. Uh, I gave. I feel. I gave Phil shit for it because he says Vegas too. Oh, uh, Phil doesn't count. He has the stupidest accent. <laughs> Phil, Phil just barely has an accent at all. What are you talking about? He's got that. He's got that northern accent. That northern, like almost Canada. My injuries are too severe. Accent. Canada, Canada adjacent. Yeah. That northern border. Accent. I'm. I'm really you bad at distinguishing uh, U.S. regional accents. To ensure it. To me, everybody just sounds like, oh, that's just how they sound. In your heart of hearts, you know this. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, I said I have a really hard time distinguishing um, regional American accents because I just, I, in my head, I'm just like, when they're, when they're subtle, like I can tell a Southern accent yeah. or a New York accent or a Boston accent, but when they're subtle, I can't, I just like think yeah. that's just how they talk. Yeah. Like I had no idea that the McElroys were from the South until someone said, like, said until they said that they were. Yeah. And then I remember, well, they're, like... They're from West Virginia, so... Yeah. And then I remember, so, the like, South. listening to it with a friend, and they were saying, yeah, it's the South. What are you talking about? Uh, listen... Yeah, that's what I said. I said, that's the uh, South. I thought you Wait, said, that's not the I South. I need to listen to this real quick. Oh, okay. I guess it, uh, it just... It's written right there. I can read it. Diablo will turn. I've done what I can to ensure it. He will... Uh, he always finds a way in your heart of hearts. You know this. Okay. Um, uh, I was listening to it with, with a friend, and they were like, where are they from, Virginia? And I was like, what the, how, what is this magic trick that you can do where you can tell people's voices? <laughs> they just sound like talkers. They just sound like people that talk. Before she died, Adria conjured an image of pandemonium. She was searching for Malthael, so um, he must be there. 
It's funny that that, that this discussion comes up um, adjacent to the Oregon Trail video uh, without it actually touching at all upon the big complaint about that video. You know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, people, uh, a couple people have complained about our pronunciation. Uh, well, one person said, oh good, they said it right, and the other person is... I can't, I can't deal with the fact that you're saying Oregon. It is literally too grating to watch this video. And I was like, okay. Yeah, fuck off. We say it like three times. Yeah. Um, I, th I think the idea is that you're supposed to say Oregon. Uh, it's the fucking, it's, it's, it's Caribbean Pirates of the Caribbean. When it's right. Oregon Trail, it's Oregon Trail. And when it's the state, I say Oregon. Yeah, that's it's what I was going to say. I don't know if anyone around here actually says Oregon all the time, but Oregon Trail is always how I've heard the game pronounced. Yeah, it's a weird thing that is in, just in my head. Or maybe that's, or maybe just even like in school in relation to it, maybe people said that. I don't know. That's super weird. This game keeps coming up. It like the Cabinet says that Oregon Trail game was made by a Boston studio. I visited them while they were making it. Wow. That's super weird because somebody tweeted at me saying like cuz I said watch Kyle and I play this shitty Oregon Trail game and someone tweeted at me saying my dad made that game. <laughs> and and <laughs> like they meant it. It's like what is why why are, do I have all these weird second degree connections to Oregon Trail all of a sudden? Hmm. I did at the very beginning make a note to say Oregon the right way the first time, just as like a mm -hmm. as a peace offering to people that would be upset about it. Sure, Oregon. Apparently, they did not accept. So. It's a listen. Offering. Sometimes it's syrup. Sometimes it's syrup. No, it's never. Kyle, syrup. life is it's life is syrup. just syrups and syrups, and you can't have one without the other. It's never syrup. Sometimes it's syrup. No. Sometimes it's syrup. You know what? It's not ever though. Yogurt. <laughs> what? Fucking Who Boston says yogurt? idiots. Boston idiots coming into the the ice cream place that I worked and ordering frozen yogurt, and I no. wanted to just snap their necks. You didn't hear anybody say that. Not only did I hear people say that, I heard people say that basically every day. What? Yogurt. Yep. No. Yogurt. Yep. Yogurt. These must, these must be people from elsewhere. No, 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 no. Yogurt. These are people <laughs> with boss. These are people with Red Sox hats. No. These are people with... Well, that's not with, fair. Anyone can move to Boston and start wearing a Red Sox hat. It's just a thing that'll happen to you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, I don't think so. I think it is. I think people still like... I think pe people are into sports... I think they like to 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 support but, their teams when they're in a new state. I know I don't disagree, but I think the thing is that Boston is so into the Red Sox that I think you could come to Boston having no interest in baseball and just be drawn into Red Sox mania. Um, Kevin says it turns out the studio's motivation was a paycheck to feed their family, not to quote the next big thing. They, I mean, I'm sure that they all still wanted to make a good game, but it was an ad like. It's an anniversary game. I think it was like the 40th anniversary of Oregon Trail. The and game? No. No? And, oh, and also not the actual Oregon Trail. 40 years? Think about that. No, no, no. Of the anniversary of the first game. Yeah. No, I, why would it... Wait, 40? That would maybe mean it came 30. out in like 65. Yeah, maybe... Maybe... Hold on. Let's see. No, it's, it's probably... It was probably like the 25th anniversary. Trail. I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be shocked if it was 30. I don't know why I said 40. 40 is crazy. All right, hold on. Gonna this guy's going to talk things at me. Malthael is in pandemonium. Yes. Oops. Come 40th anniversary edition. What? It says it right in the box. You're right. I remember seeing that. How is that possible? Look it up. I'm right. If I'm right about this, then I want the an apology. I want, a, I want an apology right now, and I want a written apology. The original Oregon Trail could not have come out in the late 60s. How is that possible? There were almost no video games in the late 60s. Like, literally almost none. Oregon Trail video game, 1971. Okay. 1971. Wait, so this game came out in 2011? 2011. Okay. okay. It was later than I thought. Man. 
Nineteen seven. That's crazy. Nineteen seventy one. Yeah, that's like the old. I knew it was thing. forty. I want that so, apology. So when I was playing, destroy the gate. When I was, oh wait, so real quick, what I was gonna say was like because it was an anniversary edition thing, and it was kind of like I think that there was a a push by the by the publishers to rush the game out in time for the in, in time for the anniversary. Like, eh. and I, I no, they probably just didn't have much of a budget. Yeah, I mean that too. I, uh, but I can't imagine that there was an end like that. Uh, that uh, there wasn't a rush to get it out in time because it's an anniversary thing. If they needed more time, they would have just taken more time. If it wasn't an anniversary edition, I guess. There's no. There was. There was a single buffalo in that game. Not enough <laughs> spirit. <laughs> there was we, less we buffalo saw. in that game than there are now. <laughs> we saw it. We saw the buffalo. Mm-hmm. And I shot it in the head, and it kept on going. Yeah, well, you gotta shoot a buffalo in the head twice. Everyone knows that. <laughs> but you, you didn't have to tell me that everyone in the studio viewed that game as a paycheck. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's just the reality of that mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, even in a even in a major game studio, yeah, true. a lot of those people are like, I'm sure that everybody wants to make a great game, yeah. but also like they're there because that's how they get paid. Yep. Um. He dares to attack us. In 1971, Don Roshdick, which is a great name senior at Carleton College in Northfield, Minnesota, taught an 8th grade history class as a student teacher. He used HP Timeshared Basic running on an HP uh, 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 2100 mini oh computer God. to write a program to help teach the subject. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me listen to what Imperius has to say. Malfael is my brother. I fought a thousand battles by his side, and I care not that he seeks to destroy you and your kind. But my brother has grown sick, and he must be put down for his own sake. Yet I have not the heart to do this. And so it falls to you. Come, Nephilim, to Pandemonium. Apparently the Angel City is called Pandemonium. Hey Kyle, this game ran on tape. Of course it did. There were lots of games that ran on tape for a good long time. Like cassette tapes, you get a cassette deck that plugs into your that like plugs in with a headphone like eighth inch cable into a man i really want to play f real oregon trail now right yeah so i was gonna say when i was playing like oregon Malfail trail keep me from pandemonium yeah the story's tough as i draw closer to him he grows worried i will cross the ancient battleground of the angels and demons where they have fought since angels before. and demons, huh? Mm -hmm. To the pandemonium fortress at its heart, where the angel of death waits. I'm probably getting pretty close to the end of this game. Uh, when I was playing Oregon Trail 2, for some computers that had come out, I think in like the early 90s. That was mm -hmm. by no means the second version of Oregon Trail. Sounds like. No, no, no. I can tell. I can. Let's let's see. The releases, the release dates of Oregon Trail One were. Uh, oh no, this might be the entire series. 1971, 1974, 1985, 1992, 96, 2001, 2002, 2005, 8, 9, and 2011. It's, it's kind of funny. There was. It's we've almost returned to a model that's similar to how, you know, PC games and video games started out for a while, which is that someone would Foraging make, for them in the woods? <laughs> someone would make a game, and that game would just be constantly updated and re-released on new platforms for, like, years and years and years. Whoa, that was... that was pretty cool. The demons, the remnants of a long-forgotten battle. Uh... Internet Technique says the first version of the game literally did not play on a screen. 
quote, the original version of Oregon Trail was played by answering prompts that printed out on a roll of paper. Oh, of course, yeah. That's that's pretty, pretty good. That's legit. They need to bring back Oregon Trail. Like, they need to pay somebody to make a for real Oregon Trail that is that plays like the original that everyone knows. Not, obviously not the paper roll original, but the one that everyone is familiar with. Because hmm. a good version of that, A, I, I can't imagine, is very hard to make, and it would be awesome. It would be, yeah. I, you know what, there probably Do you is. want it to I be a new trail? Space. Do you want it to be a trail that will appeal to more modern users? Actually, you know what, I think they already did that. I think, uh, I'm going to go on my iPhone right now. I think there is like an iOS Oregon Trail. That's, that's probably shitty, but... It's probably shitty, yeah. There is an iOS Oregon Trail. It does not say on the Wikipedia whether or not it's shitty. <laughs> uh, well, it has four and a half stars from 33,000 ratings. Doesn't necessarily mean anything, but... No, that means nothing. <laughs> Reviews, one star, inaccessible to the blind. Fuck you, it's an iPhone. How do you how could you how could a blind person do anything on an iPhone? How did they find that review? <laughs> how did you write this review, blind person? They probably had a friend do it. Um that must, that's got to be like a an asshole making a joke, right? No. No? Uh, I personally do not review games very often. The only time I review games and other apps is if they are very very good or very very bad. I have to say unfortunately this app is very very bad. I purchased it, paid five dollars for it. I downloaded and installed it. I tried five to launch dollars. it, and once it came up, I could not do anything. I am blind and use the voiceover. Sometimes, if I turn the voiceover okay. off and touch a few places on the screen, I can skip past the inaccessible intro and then turn the voiceover back on and, and play it just fine. All right. That's a that's trying oh. to play games when you're blind. That's. That's a that's a raw deal. I mean, they can do it. That's uh, that sounds. I'm glad they can do it. Yeah, that's raw deal right there. Mm -hmm. uh, not impressed, comma unkind dialogue. Unkind dialogue. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Did it, what does that uh, mean? Like, are they calling you a jerk face? Uh, I downloaded the app for my six-year-old to play, and after testing it, I deleted it from my phone. Characters talk to each other in little speech bubbles as they walk the trail. Uh, at first, it was funny. You know, are we there yet? Then. An odd exchange. The mom character said yeah, to the dad, hilarious. The mom character said to the dad that she was worried that one of the kid characters wasn't talking. The dad's response was something to the to the effect of, "That's because he hates you." Funny? Maybe at age fifteen. Not so much for a parent of a young child. Okay. They ruined a great title. One star. I really enjoyed the game when I bought it a year or two ago. It was fun, creative update to an old classic. However, I just fired it up again after a long time. I had no idea what they'd done, done to it through updates. Now the entire game is infested with in-app purchase buttons. Eh. They, they free-to-play monetized a $5 Oregon Trail port <laughs> right? to the iPhone? Right? Thanks, Gameloft. That's Gameloft. All right. Get out of here, Gameloft. Gameloft is the Zynga of games. Let's, uh... I'm gonna try messaging Austin one more time. I'm Dude. going to bed. I have to go to bed. Uh. Yeah. Okay, fine. I cannot carry more. I'm sleepy. All right, um, I guess that's the end. I, yeah. have, I have one thing I want to talk to you after we uh, go off air, though, so don't okay. see you right away. Okay. Ooh, a dragon. No, I, I must lessen my burden. Oh, I, I am returning these, to town. All these items. You're going to get killed. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching. See you later.